Whoa. Is that milk? Oh my gosh, this is all the ingredients for my favorite hot chocolate recipe. Yes! On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven cocos brimming, six small brief paintings, five chocolate rings, four crosswords, three blow pens, two crispy wreaths, and a cartridge in a bear tree. That is a lot of hot chocolate. I'm definitely going to need help drinking this. <laughs> Holy cow. Ah. Today, I have everything I need to make the best hot chocolate ever. <sighs> so the things you'll need are milk and dipping chocolate, and either regular chocolate or white chocolate. There's also some peppermint oil on this tray, so I think I'm gonna put that into the white chocolate. Dump your chocolate into a microwave safe bowl. I've never made this much hot chocolate before at once, so it should be fun. Heat this up in the microwave for 30 seconds, stir at 30 seconds until it is all completely melted. Once your chocolate is nice and melted, we're going to heat up the milk. So you want to heat the milk until it's warm, but you don't want it to boil, otherwise it will lose some of its flavor. When only making one cup of hot chocolate, I like to add my half a cup of milk, stir everything all together, and then leave the quarter cup of milk left and shake it up and make it all foamy and put it on top. I'm going to put a little design on my foam, so it's kind of like latte art but with cocoa. So it's cocoa art. Pour the warm milk in with the melted chocolate. And then just stir, stir, stir. Keep stirring until the chocolate has completely combined with the milk and there aren't any lumps. I'm going to add a few drops of peppermint oil to my white chocolate. Awesome. Now, if you don't have peppermint oil, you can always just stir it with a candy cane. with a cup measure so I can distribute the cocoa evenly to all of the mugs. So I'm going to shake up the milk so it gets all bubbly and then dump it into this bowl and then pop it into the microwave so that the bubbles kind of set. Definitely make sure the lid is on before you start shaking. And the more air you have in the container, the more bubbles you tend to get. And I find that whole milk works best to get the most amount of bubbles. After microwaving, spoon the milk and foam on top. There's usually a lot more bubbles than this, if my milk was fresher, I think there would be a lot more foam. I've done it before where there was heaps of foam and I could sculpt little designs with it. Using some store-bought chocolate syrup, I am drawing pictures in the foam. Like I said before, if you have enough foam, you can sculpt with it and then add sauce to decorate. But alas, the bubble gods were not on my side while filming this. Such is life. I'm using a plastic cooking paintbrush, but it's basically the cheap plastic paintbrush you get in the kids' watercolor sets. So I trimmed the brush head with scissors to get a finer brush tip. The bell looks pretty good at first, but then I added to it and it sort of dissolves a bit and looks less and less like a bell and more like a snowman from a horror movie. The star is pretty atrocious, but the heart makes up for it, I think. That has got to be the best heart I have ever drawn in my entire life. And I have drawn a lot of hearts in my day. 
When drawing hearts, the left side sometimes trips me up, but not today. Here's my deformed Polar Express bell. In the mug, I got whilst riding the Polar Express itself. Ha, 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 hot chocolate. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe if you so desire, or not, if you don't want to. And this is my Seven Swans of Swimming mug, though with the one on top, technically, it's now eight. And here they all are. Now I have Seven Cocos Brimming. What am I gonna do with this? I guess I have to give them away, but this is crazy. Okay, and now to try it. It's like completely hardened. <laughs> My little swans are swimming. <laughs> it's so cute. Mm. That is so good. Oh my gosh. really really good. Mine have kind of hardened a little bit so I just popped mine in the microwave for 30 seconds and it tastes as good as new so just a little tip there I guess. I just ate my whole swan. It's only its head is left. That sounds terrible and kind of gross. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye! Bye.